Hi folks, it's Laura Ganan here with a little bit of a tutorial about how you can use Bridge Base Online if you've never ever played Bridge before and you wanted to get stuck into it. With a lot of people in isolation at the moment and a lot of people who have just always been eager to learn the game, this is a great opportunity to take the time, play a bit of Bridge and see if you think it's going to be for you. So the first thing you need to do is go to www.bridgebase.com and this will take you to Bridgebase Online, which is the world's most popular online playing platform for Bridge. Uh, now you've got various different areas that you can go to. What we want to go to is this Just Declare section. So if you click on that and uh, get into it, it'll have a little pop-up which has some information about what you're going to do. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'd just simply click on play. Don't worry about it at all. So I'm just going to talk you through what happens with a game of bridge and what basically you're looking at. So the first thing, bridge is normally played live at a table with four people sitting around it. Now the screen that you've got in front of you is meant to imitate that. Uh, and what we could actually see is hands that two different people hold or two people sitting opposite each other. And in Bridge, we're given the allocation of compass directions, which is basically our player position. So in a sport, I guess like soccer or I don't know, netball, you'd have something like a wing or a goalkeeper. In Bridge, we use the compass directions. We use north, south, east and west. And basically north and south are on a team together and east and west are on a team together. If we look at this green area here, uh, what we can see is 13 cards up the top. These are the cards that belong to north and 13 cards down the bottom here. These are the cards that belong to south. And during a hand of bridge, one player can always see and control two people's hands. So here we're, it's as though I'm sitting in the south player's perspective, but I'm also holding the cards from north. And that's because I get to choose what they do, which is a great thing. Now, Bridge is played using a standard deck of 52 cards. If you were playing at home, what you do is shuffle them and then deal them out to each player and everybody ends up with 13. So it's as though in the North player's hand, they were dealt the five and the three of spades, the 10, nine, seven, and five of hearts, ace, queen, and three of clubs, and the king, nine, eight, and two of diamonds. In Bridge, what we use is the, the rank of the cards, and we need to know that the ace is the highest, then the king, then the queen, and then our numbers 10 all the way down through two being the lowest. Uh, so ace, king, queen, there's also the jack, which I forgot to mention. So ace, king, queen, jack, they're the highest cards or the honors, then the numbers 10 all the way down through two. So that's what we've got here. Don't worry about this king of spades for the moment. We'll come back to that. What we want to do is now look at this bar up the top here. At the moment, my score is zero. That's because I haven't done anything. This little bit here, this just indicates what hand number or what deal you're on. This is the first hand that I'm playing. And this box is the really important one where it says 2NT by South. What this is, is this actually gives me my goal for the hand. I'm South, so I'm the one in control or the player that's, uh, I guess, having a go and 2NT sets what we call a contract. The first thing you need to know, you need to add six to this number. So my number I need to keep in mind is eight. That's my goal. And NT means that what we're doing is we're playing with no trumps and we'll see how that works in just a moment. But just remember we're playing with no trumps. As we play it out, what we'll see is our score. So out of the 13, I'm aiming for eight. Anytime I lose a trick, it'll be indicated here. And anytime I win it, it'll be indicated here. With your settings button, one thing I personally like to do, I don't like to have the sound effects on. I like to have them off, uh, but see how you go with them. You might enjoy having them on and want to keep them on. The other ones I like to generally leave, you could change to a different view if you found this a little bit difficult to deal with. If you change to turn the pictures off, your display will look something like this. But for the moment, I'm going to keep those on for us. Okay, uh, don't worry about this claim button. Uh, you don't really need to know about that one. And then over at the side here, what we've got is the current players online who are also participating in our Just Declare section. So there's 462 of them. And our top score is on 19,410. A long way off our zero. 
Okay, so let's get into it and we'll see how it works. The first thing we need to know about bridge is that it always goes clockwise. This king of spades here, this is as though West had played it. So the person sitting over here are uh, just above my head. So West has played this one and clockwise from West is North. So it's North's turn to play now, but of course I control the North hand as well. At this stage, we need to know the most fundamental rule of bridge, which is that if you can follow suit, so you must. What this means is that because West led the king of spades, if I have a spade, I must play a spade if I can. And you'll see there's a yellow line here under the spades. It means my only option is going to be the five or the three. I can't, even if I try to click on any of the other ones, it's not gonna let me. So I'll click on the three of spades and we'll come around to here. Uh, so at this stage, it's South's turn to play. Being the fourth player to contribute a card, so we had West, North, and East. Um, generally, it's a good idea to win the trick if you can, for the most part. Uh, if you can't win the trick, then you'd normally want to play your lowest card. So I'm going to win this one with the Ace, and then I'm going to attack something else. So I might start on Diamonds now. In No Trumps, a good strategy is that we want to play our long suits. So what happened, because I won in south, I get to lead to the next trick from my hand. So at this stage, I chose to play the three of diamonds. And now West has played the seven. This is because they had to follow suit if they, if they could. After we've played a trick and someone's won, they can lead any suit they like. The other thing you'll notice up here in my scoring box, I now have one trick that I've won and zero that I've lost. So what I'm going to do, I'll put my king on that. And they've won the ace. And now it's probably not going to be much fun. Uh, so at this stage, they're giving me a bit of a, an attack with spades. And I had to follow suit if I could. And now those spades keep coming. But what's happened, when I got to the north hand, I couldn't actually play a spade because I didn't have any spades in my hand. What that meant is that I could play any card that I'd like from the north hand, but I couldn't win the trick. If you can't follow suit, you can't actually win the trick. So I just picked a card that I didn't think was ever gonna win and wasn't a useful card to complement my south hand. But of course I have to follow suit with the south hand. And these spades just keep on coming. And again, I had to make what's called a discard with the north hand. And now I'm going to have to discard with my south hand as well. So at the moment, the opponents are at five tricks out of our 13 cards that we got dealt. Each trick symbolizes, I guess, a time that everybody plays a card. Uh, and now they've played hearts. So they've changed it to hearts that we have to follow suit if we can. And again, you'll see that only the heart is underlined. So I can only have those choices. And I'm gonna play some clubs now. I'm hoping that I'm gonna get to my eight tricks. And we're all playing clubs. And again, here East didn't have any clubs, so they had to make a discard, and they chose to play a heart. But they couldn't win the trick if you discard. And luckily, my nine of diamonds is also a winner. So I got to my eight tricks. Now at the end of a hand, it's gonna pop up with all the cards that every single person at the table had. So this was my south hand, which is hopefully pretty familiar, my north hand. Also, we now get to see what the west and the east cards were. Um, our score gets populated up here. The scoring in bridge is quite complex. I wouldn't worry about it too much at this stage, but if you do decide you wanna learn bridge, a really good idea to take a look at it. When I click on click to continue, it's going to take me to my second deal and the bidding's going to pop up. Don't worry about the bidding. So bridge is played in two phases. There's the bidding phase and then the card play phase. Basically this just declare section completely skips over the first phase, it gives that to you. So on this second hand, uh, we can see that the contract up the top here has changed. What's happened now is that it's now four hearts by south. 
What this means is that my goal is different. I still have to add six to my four, so that's 10. My goal will be 10 tricks, but this time hearts are trumps. Now the way that trumps work is like before, if you can follow suit, you must. But if you can't follow suit, you can actually do trumping. And this means that if you can't follow suit, you could play a heart and the heart is actually bigger than any other card of any other suit. So the heart would beat the ace of spades, for instance. And we're going to play through the hand and we'll get to see what that looks like. So the opponent's west has started off the lead again. It's north's turn to play and I'm back to my underline, which says I can only play a heart. Um, and we'll have a look at what trumping looks like in a minute. One good strategy when you, I guess, have a trump suit, as we can see, I've got lots of trumps. I've got nine trumps and the opponents don't have many. They've only got four to start with and they've just played two. So they've only got two more. One strategy that people often use is what's called drawing trumps, where they play out some trumps, uh, basically to rid the opponents of their trump cards. So I'm going to keep playing those and as we can see they've now discarded and this would be playing what we call extra trumps which isn't a good strategy. I've continued to play trumps even though the opponents have run out of them. So that's not something you generally like to do. But what we'll do is have a look at how trumping works now. Uh, I'm going to play out a spade and I can win that one. And we'll play out another one. Everyone has to follow to spades if they can. And the opponents now have the lead and they've played another spade. So at this stage, the north hand can't actually follow to spades. They could play any card they wanted, but if they played a club or a diamond, they couldn't win the trick. However, if they played a heart, they can now win the trick by trumping. So even though the king of spades has been played, which is much bigger than the seven of hearts, the seven of hearts gets to win because hearts are more powerful than any other suit. So I get to win with north seven of hearts. If I'd played the two of clubs or the ten of diamonds, I wouldn't have got to win. But because I played my seven of hearts or a trump, I do get to win as well. Oops, didn't want to play that one. That wasn't a good move, was it? Uh, probably should have played my ace there. That was the plan. But occasionally these things stuff up at bridge. Good news, I'm at three losses, so I can still take my 10 tricks, and I'm still pretty confident that's going to happen. But um, I'm going to do what we call going to bed with that ace. I really should have played that ace of diamonds. because now when I play it, I'm gonna to have to trump it. So it would have been much more useful to play earlier. And once I play out that one, I've completed the hand again and I've taken my 10 tricks. I could have got 11, I could have got an extra one, but I only got 10. But luckily I still achieved my goal. You've always got to add six to that contract up there. So four hearts, I had to try to take 10 tricks. Um, and if I did that, I would have achieved my goal. I can then click to continue. And this time, again, we've got the bidding that pops up. Don't worry too much about that. It'll disappear quite quickly. This time, my goal is three diamonds. So if I add nine to it, uh, six to it, my goal would be to take nine tricks with diamonds as trumps. And this time, uh, it's, it's diamonds. It's not always hearts. It's not always no trumps. It changes with each particular hand. Uh, so this is how we go through the Just Declare section of Bridge Base Online. But this isn't the only section that you can use if you wanted to play the game and practice without actually knowing how to play Bridge. What we can do is we can click on Go Back. That'll take us to the Bridge Base Online homepage. And we can go to my favorite area, which is Bridge Master. This is pretty much the same as the Just Declare section. The, I guess, display for it is a little bit different. What you want to do is make sure the beginner box is clicked up here and then we've got each of these different deals which represents a hand that you could play. So what you want to do is just click on A1 to start with and it'll take us into an area that looks quite similar to the Just Declare. The only difference is that what will happen is we also get to see the backs of the East-West cards. You can't see them but you get to see that they are there. 
We've moved our contract down the bottom here, so three no trumps by south. This would mean we've got no trump suit, but we're trying to take nine tricks. And again, we can just play through it. If you wanted to change your settings in Bridgemaster, you click on these three bars up here and you've got the settings uh, section that you could turn the um, noise on and off if you wanted to or the sound. But we can simply play through the hand like we did in the Just Declare section. One thing I like to do uh, when you're making a plan on a bridge hand and developing your strategies, it's always a good idea to start off and count your tricks when you're in no trumps. So here I've just taken one trick with my Queen of Spades. I can count two heart tricks, so that's uh, three. I can count four club tricks between the two hands, that gets me to seven. And I've also got the Ace and the King of Diamonds, so that's nine tricks. So what I could do now is just simply take all nine of my tricks and I would get my three no trump contract, which is what I would do on the hand. But the great part about Bridge Master, you could play it out. Why don't we do that? And I'm just going to zoom through this quite quickly. So West is discarded, but they couldn't trump because it's a no trump contract, so they couldn't win. Now collecting my heart tricks and finally my diamond tricks, which will get me up to my ninth. And if you've done it correctly, they're going to give you a gold star and say contract made. The best part about Bridge Master is we can click on this show solution button and it actually talks us through what our strategy should be on the hand. Uh, so there are eight top tricks and it just highlights them for you. Four in clubs, three in hearts and three in diamonds. If you wanted to click on the voice button, you can also get it spoken to you. Personally, I like just reading it, but that's up to you. And it says the defense has attacked spades and threatens to take five tricks in the suit if South is not careful. Um, and it just talks us through it. So South can guarantee a stopper in spades. This basically means a winner. And at the same time, ensure developing a ninth trick by simply not playing dummies queen of spades at trick one. And no matter how the defensive spades are distributed, East West will have no answer to this play. So you don't want to play that queen of spades at trick one. This was the key part to this hand. If you play the four, they'll win the ace, but now they've had to play their ace without capturing either your queen or your jack. And so then the king will get to capture your queen or they'll let your queen win, but you'll be guaranteed to get one winner. And then it basically goes on to how we shouldn't be greedy. So once South gets the lead, they can develop another trick in diamonds if the suit's 3-3. Three, three. And what that means is if we played them out, uh, the opponents would get to win a trick, but we would get a extra one. However, South um, only needs nine tricks and should take them without surrendering the lead. This is because we got to establish our ninth trick. We had eight tricks to start with four in clubs, two in diamonds, and two in hearts, and we got to take our ninth trick in spades, so we had achieved our goal and basically wanted to do what we call cashing out now. If you wanted to, after looking at the solution, you can click on play again, and that'll take you to the start of the hand, or you could click on next deal and go on to the next one, which will be a little bit different. Again, it'll pop up with the bidding, don't worry about that too much, that'll disappear quite quickly, or you can click to make it disappear even quicker, and it'll give you your goal again. This time, six no trumps, so we're actually aiming for 12 tricks when we add six to it, and south is declarer. Um, and again, you can go through these ones, you can click on the show solution button at any time, it doesn't have to be at the end of the hand. But personally, I like playing it through and trying to do the strategies first and then look at the solution at the end. So Bridge Master, one of the most useful parts of the Bridge Base program. If you wanted to go back to the homepage, just click on your back button in your browser. And if you did want to look further into playing Bridge and learn a bit about that bidding, which is the first phase, if you scroll right to the bottom of the Bridge Base Online homepage, you can click on Learn Bridge. 
and this will take you to the American Contract Bridge Learning page. Uh, and there's lots of different options that you can go down. Uh, a lot of people learn bridge in clubs, but a lot of those are closed at the moment. You've also got options online. So for practice and play, one thing I particularly like is this learn to play bridge software that you can download, which is right at the bottom. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on playing bridge bass online without actually knowing how to play bridge. And I hope you do enjoy playing it and it gives a lot of people something to do while you are in isolation. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.